In this video, we'll talk about the Kayasu arthritis, their presentation, and how to diagnose them in addition to the management. So you have to think about Takayasu arthritis if the patient is Asian and their age range around 20s, 30s. Most of them are less than 40 years old compared to giant cell arthritis. So the main branches involved in Takayasu arthritis are subclavian artery and vertebral artery. So subclavian artery supplies the arm. So you have claudication in the arm whenever they work, overwork the arm. As well as sometimes they will mention to you that they have cyanosis with ulceration at some point. And in addition to that, in examination, you will see that they have decreased pulsation, maybe difference in the pulse between the two arms. And that will hint you towards Takayasu arthritis. And hence the name pulseless vasculitis. In addition to that, renal artery stenosis can result from inflammation and obstruction of the renal artery and that will cause the patient to have hypertension on examination. Now to diagnose Takayasu, there is a criteria from the American College of Rheumatology and you need to have the three out of the following six. First one is the patient's age is less than 40 years old and they have decrease in the pulses on examination and difference in the blood pressure more than 10 millimeters and that's because if you have decreased or obstruction in one of the arteries in one arm and the other doesn't have this obstruction then there will be a difference in the blood pressure as well as breweries on examination including the renal arteries claudications as a result of obstruction of the aortic branches as well and when you suspect patients to have Takaya so you need to do an imaging to confirm or to support your diagnosis let's say and that's usually MRA, looking for narrowing of the aortic branches. Now talking about the treatment, treatment is straightforward. You want to treat these patients with the prednisone. And one important thing here, compared to giant cell arthritis, where methotrexate and TNF-alpha inhibitors not proven to be effective in GCA patients, here in Takayasu, you can add them or use them as a second line to patients who don't respond to prednisone. And this is it for Takayasu. Hope you guys learned something. See you in the next one.